In this video today, I will review another very nice CarPlay AI box adapter from the Linky Fun brand. Now, just a few days back, I tested their premium uh, model, the latest premium model, which was the GT6 Pro. And in this video, I will uh, review one of their more affordable devices. It's called the A1 Mini CarPlay AI Box. Um, and uh, in terms of the overall performance, it's uh, more or less the same in terms of the specifications. But there are few functions which are removed from uh, the previous model just to make this a bit more affordable. This is about $40, $45 cheaper than their high-end GT6 Pro model. So this one still runs on the latest Android 13 operating system it's got 8 gigs of ram uh, 128 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded through the micro sd or the tf card but this one does not have a usb flash drive slot um, other than that um, you know it's got the fast 6125 uh, qualcomm processor um, this one does not have any hdmi connection so no hdmi in or hdmi out uh, this one still has a sim card slot so you can connect this device to internet either through inserting a sim card or by connecting it to uh, the mobile hotspot uh, so in terms of the specifications more or less the same it's just missing the usb uh, connection usb slot and uh, the hdmi connections the other nice thing with this adapter compared to the gt6 pro is that this one is kind of a universal sim network device so even if you are in the us or in asia you can just go and buy their uh, device it's a universal device compared to the gt6 pro model which was you know specific version for the european or the asian versus compared to the north america us and canada model uh, so this is more of a universal device in terms of the sim compatibility so these were the specifications now let's do a quick unboxing to check out the contents in the box and then i will connect this in my car and start testing the different functions and features of this new linky fun a1 mini carplay ai box adapter so keep watching guys All right, friends, so this is all we get uh, inside this box. So you get uh, two cables. These are the cables that you need to connect the device with the USB plug in your car. So you have a type C to type A cable. Now this type C connection actually connects with the device. And then this USB type A connects with the USB plug in your car. And then you also have a type C to type C. So depending on the connection in your car, you might uh, need to use the appropriate one, but you just need to use one of these cables depending on the connection. So I have two cars, one of them has type C. So for that car, I'll use this cable, but the other car has a type A connection. So I'll use that one. So two cables, but you just need to use one. And then you have this uh, Linky Fun A1 Mini CarPlay AI Box Adapter. Um, now I can tell you, it looks very nice, uh, very different to some of the other devices I've tested. It's got this metallic top and this is the LED indicator. So when you connect this, switch it on, this is where the light comes up. And then this is the top of it. Um, you know, it's a nice finishing. It's a standard squarish design and most of it is plastic. That's why it's not very heavy. It's a compact uh, device, compact design. Um, so in terms of the connections, you have a connection for the type C here. This is the type C connection where you actually connect the cable that connects with the USB in your car. Uh, and then on the other side, you have two slots, one for the TF card or the micro SD card. And I've already inserted one. And then you can also insert a SIM card. So this is the tray that takes the SIM card. And then you'll find some spacing all over this device uh, for air ventilation so that uh, the chip doesn't heat up. Um, at the back, you've got this nice texture design. Um, so all in all, um, nice uh, design, especially this top looks quite nice, this uh, silver finishing. So now uh, let me take this out to my car, uh, connect it, and then we start testing the different functions and features of this new Linky Fun A1 Mini CarPlay AI Box Adapter. So keep watching, guys. 
All right, guys, so I'm in my car. I've got uh, the device with me. This is the Linky Fun A1 Mini CarPlay AI Box Adapter. Um, now I'll connect this with the USB cable in my car with the USB slot. Uh, but at the same time, I would like to see how long would this device take to start up and get to the home page or the landing page of the Android system when you switch on the car. So for that purpose, I've got my uh, stopwatch ready with me um, and uh, you know, I'll connect it and then we start timing this device. So let's connect this with the USB cable. Let's start the timer. All right, so it takes around 38 seconds for the device to start and, uh, and bring us to the main home page or the landing page of the Android system on this device. All right, friends, so this is the main home page or the landing page uh, of the Android user interface on this device. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's nice looking, but slightly different to the, to the previous GT6 Pro model that we tested a few days back on the channel. Um, now, let me give you a quick uh, overview or the tour of the, of the user interface here. So basically, on the main screen, you get uh, on the left side, you've got the shortcuts to the wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and the, to the settings section. On the right side, you've got shortcuts to YouTube and Netflix right in the middle is where you have the navigation and you can also change the application that is linked to navigation here now by default it's the Google uh, Maps but you can change it to Waze or um, Yango Maps or other uh, applications as per your preference now right at the bottom this is where you have the voice assistant now this is an Android device so you can actually operate this device uh, through voice commands uh, and uh, and then this button at the top le bottom left is basically where it takes you to the main home page which is this so if you are on a different page you click on this it brings you back to this main layout um, then right at the bottom you've got four shortcut applications you've got the chrome browser you've got play store to install applications you've got the video player and then you've got the file explorer and right at the bottom is where you have the time date and the connectivity um, now you need to actually connect this device to internet if you want to use applications that require internet connectivity like YouTube, Netflix or some of the other applications. Now there are two ways to connect this device with internet. You can either insert a SIM card or you can connect this device with your mobile's hotspot. Now I've already connected this with my mobile's hotspot uh, but I'll show you how to do that. Just simply go to the settings, go to network and internet and then within the internet look for your uh, hotspot device um, and connect it. Mine is already connected as you can see and uh, we can in fact go quickly to see you know what type of speed we get through the connection here. So I've got this is internet speed test so let's see what uh, what type of speed do we get with the mobile hotspot connection all right so around 40 42 mbps which is uh, quite decent uh, for for running any you know any application especially the video streaming apps 44 mbps is is quite uh, good enough all right now back to this page now if you swipe it to the left like this then you get to see all the different applications that are installed on this device now there are a few pre-installed applications but you can uh, go to the play store or you can go to the apk store or apk pure installer different stores different websites where you, you can in fact install different applications on this device itself now this one comes with 128 gigs of internal storage which is you know a lot you can uh, install heavy applications as well on this device now quite a few of them were pre-installed but i've just installed some extra ones for the test today so you can install different navigation apps um, and uh, some of the you know ott platforms like disney plus uh, hbo max you can also install tiktok instagram facebook anything it's an android device so you know you can go to the play store and install any application on this device so this is the user interface this is the layout as you can see it's quite nice very neat it's not cluttered um, and and looks quite nice the front page is, is quite good you've got all the important shortcut applications and then you have the navigation right in the middle so this is um, how it looks now what we will do is in order to test the performance of this uh, linky fun a1 mini carplay ai box adapter i will start testing some of the applications and some of the different functions and and features so keep watching guys 
All right, guys, so before we start, uh, just a few things that you need to keep in mind. Uh, one is that this device works in most of the cars that support wide CarPlay function. Um, so if your car does not support wide CarPlay, please don't buy this because it will not work in your car. Um, as I said, it works in most of the cars with, that support wide CarPlay connectivity. So just check the car model and compatibility before buying this device. Uh, number two, this adapter is ideal for touch screen cars so like my car is also a touchscreen car so you can navigate through the touchscreen um, so it's ideal for these kind of cars but if you don't have a touchscreen in your car you have the steering wheel buttons or the knob buttons on the right side or the or the trackpad you can still buy this device and use it in your car you just need to buy one of those air mouse keyboards separately and then connect that keyboard remote mouse with the device through the Bluetooth connectivity and and that would allow you to actually uh, scroll or operate the device without a touch screen. It's a very nice device. Um, you know, I'll give you links to some of those remote controls in the description of the video. So you can go directly and buy that uh, remote along with this device. So a couple of important points to keep in mind. Now, uh, let's start testing the different functions and features. So the first thing that I would like to test is um, YouTube. This is the most frequently used application. So quite quick to load. Um, so as you move up, you can see all the thumbnails get uploaded quickly as well. Yeah. All right, so now let's uh, go and uh, play one of the videos. Let's try this one. Blue US Marshal before. Hope you like flying. All right, so the other nice thing is now uh, this device is connected with my car and the sound system of my car. So I can use the steering wheel controls to actually operate this device like uh, increasing or re reducing the volume. So YouTube seems to be working fine. Let's blow this up to full screen. As you can see, very nice, very clear, uh, no lag, no buffering. We can skip scenes as well, so it's quite quick to do that. And we can also change the resolution, the output resolution on the screen, depending on the size of the screen in your car. Now, my car has this very small screen, so I'm not going to blow this up to the maximum resolution. It just kind of overloads the internet as well as the device. Um, but as you can see, this one is now playing in, let's see. So this one is playing 480p but we can actually go and go to the quality go to the advanced and then we can go all the way up to 2160p which is 4k but i would not recommend you to actually play 2160p on on car screens because most of the car screens are generally small so you don't really have to play such high resolution output because it will not give you you know a different resolution even let's say 720p would give you very clear output as you can see the quality it's very nice it's very clear the colors the brightness and it's it's playing smoothly that's more important right and you can skip scenes as well so YouTube, uh, just like most of the other devices that I've tested, is working perfectly fine on this device as well. All right, so you can also, you know, play Netflix. I don't have login details for Netflix, but, uh, you know, if you have it, you can just go and log into your account and uh, enjoy watching Netflix in your car. Now, the other nice feature with this device is that uh, it has the video in motion uh, function. So you can actually play video content while the car is moving or while you're driving the car. Though it's very uh, dangerous, I do not recommend playing any video contents while you're watching, uh, while you're driving the car. It's very, very unsafe. Uh, but this device, does have a function of video and so any video that you play you can still watch that video while the car is moving or while you're driving the car um, so YouTube Netflix you can um, you know play that you can also use any of the other uh, platforms like uh, Disney plus HBO prime videos if you have the login details you can simply log in and start watching uh, the content on that now the other app that I would like to test on this device is another important one which is the navigation app and I, I generally use the Waze app um, it's it's quite good um, I'm already you know following one of the directions and as you can see it's quite quick um, and looks quite nice. Uh, the other nice thing is that the screen is also quite responsive. There you go. 
and you can also switch on I've switched it off in fact it's still on the voice guidance on this because it's connected with the sound system of your car um, now just uh, like some of the other devices I've tested this device also has the nice function of split screen this is where you can have two apps running side by side at the same time and uh, we can quickly test that basically we go to this function and then we sh put split screen function now we will see the split screen now we, we should have uh, let's say the navigation running on the right side and then we can pick up another application to run on the left side and we can obviously do the other way around so it's better to have navigation on the left side and something like youtube netflix running on the right side uh, but the other but the nice thing is that both these um, applications are active um, so you can you can see the, the you can play the videos as well as you know play with the navigation as well so a very nice and a very useful function that uh, you know you'll find in most of the latest devices in the market but it's very very useful all right so this is the main home page of the live tv package i have so let's try the live tv channels All right, so live TV working fine. Uh, the quality is also quite nice. All right, uh, so as you can see, um, live TV working perfectly fine. Uh, the good thing with this live TV package is, um, you know, it works very nicely um, on these kind of devices and the quality is very nice. You get, you know, you also get 4K uh, channels, but then again, I don't want to play 4K on small screens. Um, you know, I would stick to HD, but HD looks very nice and very good. So this device is able to play live TV channels through the IPTV Smartest Pro. So that's quite nice. All right, so now let's uh, try to connect the wireless Apple CarPlay. Uh, what we need to do is basically click on this Apple CarPlay icon. And then um, on the iPhone, open the Bluetooth settings and look for this device, AutoBox 3300. So I've got AutoBox 3300. We click on this. Pair the device. Allow it to sync context favorites. There you go. So very quick to connect, just a few steps and uh, and then, you know, the system will be connected with the Apple uh, wireless system. This is the main home page of the landing page. Now, this is a one time connection. You just need to connect this your iPhone with the device through the Bluetooth once. And then every time you switch on the car, you will get an option of directly going into the Apple CarPlay without actually, you know, creating the, the connection again. So this is the main home page of uh, Apple CarPlay. You've got uh, some of the shortcut apps on the left side uh, my location is off so you can't see the navigation but you will see the navigation on this side you've got media playing on this side um, and then if you click on these buttons it will take you to the full app listing of uh, the ones that are compatible and available on Apple CarPlay so now I will not uh, explain all the different functions and features of Apple CarPlay in this video uh, all I wanted to see was whether we can actually get the wireless Apple CarPlay platform on this linky uh, linky fun a1 mini device as you can see we can very quick to connect and uh, working perfectly fine. All right, so now let's uh, try to connect the wireless Android Auto system. So what we need to do is go to this Android Auto application. Uh, it brings us to the main uh, connections page, which looks the same as the Apple CarPlay one. Then on the Android device, we just need to go to the Bluetooth settings and look for a new Android uh, Bluetooth device. Um, and it would be AutoBox 3300. There you go. So we click on this, pair the device, and now it started to connect. And now in a few seconds, we should be able to see the home page of the wireless Android or the Android Auto system on the screen here. There you go. So this is the main home page or the landing page of the Android Auto platform. Um, very similar to the CarPlay. Now, the one nice thing with both CarPlay and the Android Auto functions is that you can use uh, voice input. Uh, so you can use Siri on iPhone as well as the Google Voice Assistant on the Android Auto device. Um, and the look and feel is very similar again. On the left side, you have some shortcut icons. You've got navigation on the middle and then media running on the right side. And uh, if you want a full screen of navigation, just like the Apple CarPlay, you can actually get a full screen of the navigation. Uh, and just like Apple CarPlay, this is a 
one time connection you just need to connect the device through bluetooth to your android phone once and then you know it stays connected every time you come and sit in the car um, now you've got all the applications here this button basically takes you to the full app view of all the different compatible applications available on the android auto platform that looks like this now obviously you can go to the settings and change the look and feel the wallpaper and icons but uh, you know as you can see it, it's working perfectly fine you know i don't want to explain the different functions and features of android auto in this video all i wanted to see was uh, whether android auto can be connected wirelessly through this linky fun a1 mini device and as you can see it can so that's it friends this was a very quick review of this uh, new carplay ai box uh, adapter from linky fun um, now we've tested uh, a few of the different functions and features everything works uh, quite nicely uh, now the big question is um, you know should you go for the gt6 pro model that i tested a few days back uh, which is a very very nice and a premium high-end all-in-one kind of a device or um, you go with this new a1 mini carplay ai box you know it all depends on your usage um, you know if you will use the HDMI connection as well as the USB connection then I would suggest you go with the GT6 Pro it's an all-in-one device it's kind of a one-time investment you don't have to buy devices uh, again and again um, but if you don't uh, want to use the HDMI and you're not going to use the USB flash drive you're happy with the micro SD card then you don't have to spend that extra dollars um, you know this device is good enough it has all the different functions and features like navigation you can play YouTube Netflix live TV um, you have all the different functions and features you have that Play Store you can go and download any application on this device so it's I know it's a tough choice but if if um, you know I had to make the decision I would still go with the GT6 Pro because just a 40 45 dollar difference and it gives me all those extra connections like HDMI and flash drive and all that so that's it guys um, this was a very quick review if you like this one if you want to buy this one you can uh, simply go to the link in the description of the video it will take you directly to the linky fun official store where you can buy this uh, latest a1 mini carplay ai box adapter that's it friends if you like my content you can go and support this channel with the super thanks icon below and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos thanks for watching guys